Today we're going to go ahead and replace the PCV line here on this 2012 Chevy Cruze with a 1.4 liter turbocharged engine. Now because this is a turbocharged engine, remember we don't just have vacuum on the intake side, but we're also going to have pressure under certain situations. In that case we need to have check valves for various components such as uh, the EVAP system and also certainly here the PCV system. We don't necessarily want that pressure from the intake as a result of turbocharging to go back into the crankcase. We want to maintain that under vacuum. And so uh, there's a couple different check valves here. There's actually one inside of uh, this tube here and there's actually another one inside the intake here. And so at times different ones can, can uh, go bad and create uh, some sort of whistling or howling sound and the PCV is actually built into the, uh, the valve cover here. And so in some cases it may actually damage that PCV valve, but in, in many times simply by replacing uh, one of the faulty check valves, either with the intake assembly or the lesser expensive repair uh, is going to be here with this line. And so it's going to take some diagnosis on the part of the technician to determine which check valve uh, is faulty and if the valve itself is faulty. So today we're going to assume that we've simply got faulty check valve here in this line. And so I'm going to show you just ins and outs of replacing the line. So uh, first thing first, just so you can see it a little bit better, I'm going to remove some of the intake duct work here from the air box to uh, the inlet of the turbocharger. All right, so now that I've got the, uh, the duct work out of the way here, you can kind of see where this is uh, clipped into the inlet of the turbo housing here a little bit better. So first thing I need to do is basically just pinch the plastic connector here and release it and slide it off there. Actually, we've, we've got this other vacuum line going to uh, the bypass assembly for the turbo down below. So I'm gonna use just a little hose tool to help pop that off there. And here on the intake side, uh, we've got a little metal clip here, which I can kind of get, get around with my fingernail and pull this little metal clip off. And that's going to allow me to remove this up here. And then there's one other vacuum hose connected down to the lower side of the intake. And so again, I'll use my a longer tool to help pop that out of out of the way and there we've got our old one out so now we can see inside here we can see the one check valve and then we also want to inspect the other check valve down inside of the intake here make sure that it's okay now we understand that the check valve in here is fine I'm going to take my new line which comes with new clips and I'll route it here. Notice it actually comes with a new uh, clip, a hold down clip here as well. And so I can get rid of my original one. And so I'm gonna snap the line into place, make sure it makes a good tight connection there. I'll put my hold down retainer in place. And then I'm going to line it up in here clip it on properly by the turbo. I will hook up the hose to the, the bypass here, get that in place. And then I will uh, go below here and get my other vacuum line in place. Once I install the ductwork here, this thing's ready to go. You might wanna clear any trouble codes here, uh, verify the oil level. Obviously, if this was having an issue with PCV system, we always need to check the oil. But hopefully now you understand what it takes to replace the PCV hose here on this Chevy 1.4 liter turbocharged engine. 